guys, what's up? Simply Sasha414 here, and today I'm going to be doing my November favorites. Now, I have not done a favorites in a long time because I haven't really been wearing that much makeup, but I really got back into the groove of things now that my room is coming together and I got my makeup kind of set up how I want it. So, and I got a few new things that I want to share for you, with you guys and a few recent old things that I've repurchased and haven't used in a while and things like that. So, if you're excited to see my favorites, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have like a bunch of favorites. I have some in this thing and I have some in this thing. So let's do this thing first because it has like my um, face stuff in it. And I'm gonna just quick kind of try to quickly go through this so this isn't a long video. Like I say, I always say that. But um, if you want me to go in depth about the product, um, I can do a separate video on like skincare and things like that if you guys would like to see it. I don't know if I like this king camera angle. Anyways. Okay, so I'm just going to pull things out by random. Okay, so what I've been using to shower with is a Lush product, and it's the Almond Coconut Smoothie, and it just looks like this. And I love this product, like, to death. Like, it's so um, creamy, and just and it smells really good, and it's relaxing, and I really like it. It just looks like this, and this is the bottle. And I really, really like it. If you guys have really, really dry skin, because I do, this would be a perfect bottle for you guys. And it lasts a really, really long time because you don't need a lot. And it lathers up really nice. I like it that it gets, like, really, really soapy. So, love that. The, uh, the next also thing I've been using with my on my body is this scrub by, from Lush. And it's called Buffy. And it just looks like this. It has, like, all these, um... What is it? Exfoliant. It's rough, basically. It's kind of really rough. So if your skin is kind of sensitive, don't use it. But I use this mostly on my legs because my legs tend to be very, very ashy. And this has like oats and oatmeal and I think shea butter, I'm pretty sure. And I just really, really love this product to death. Like when I use this, I don't have to lotion my legs for like two days. Like no joke. And it's kind of messy. It melts in your hands. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the lotion that I've been using. And it's called Dur... Macelle, Dermasis, Dermasis, I don't know how to pronounce things. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know. And it controls even severe dry skin. It's hypoallergenic. It's a dry skin treatment. This stuff is amazing. It's really thick. Um, yeah, I'll do a whole skin shower video. But it's really thick and it really helps my dry skin. I really, really love it. The next thing I want to show you guys ooh, is my, oh, my Clarisonic. I've been also using my Clarisonic. I have the blue one. Um, I'll try to remember to insert a little video of it, a little clip of it. And I really, really been using that. Really been loving it. I've been using it on my face lately because my face has been t like breaking out lately. I don't know if it's because of the change in climate. I don't know, but it's been breaking out. And I also been using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And it just looks like this. Let me show you guys really quick. This stuff is really nice. I love that it has a pump. Um, it's really, really moisturizing. Um, it's for very dry to dry combination skin. And I feel like my skin is very is dry slash combinated because sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's dry. So I don't know. But I've been really liking how this feels. It feels really, really luxurious on my skin, if that makes sense. Another thing that I've been using is the UD Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. So it just looks like this. Um, chill. It's oil free. Um, I don't know. Oh, it really just makes your face feel really, really fresh and it helps your makeup stay all day. I didn't want the oil one and I didn't want the all nighter one. So I think this one's like in between. I'm not sure, but it's a cooling. Oh, it's cooling and hydrating. So that's nice. It really feels really good and it helps my makeup last all day. I haven't been using this for a while because I haven't repurchased it, but I just, I did like a month ago. And I spray this on before and after I put on my makeup, and I really like it. Okay, so, moving on to my next box, which is right here. So, I'm just going to pull things out of here at a random order. The spray that I've been loving is the Paris Night Find Fragrance Mist. 
and it just looks like this and I've been using this a lot every time I like on the run and I have to go it smells really good I've been using this so I'm gonna put that back the next thing I've been loving are my Urban Decay palettes and the third one just came out and it's like do you really need it and then you think yeah you really do because it's different and I really want to try it and it looks so pretty and it's pinks like rose golds and pinkies nudes or whatever I really want it and hopefully get it but it's sold out as soon as I went online but both of them I've been loving I've been using them back and forth some of the colors that I've been loving in each is buck actually I put a dent in buck I just like using it as a blending color I also been recently recently loving naked I've been using naked on my lids this is like my everyday fall um look I think I'm gonna start like I think I'm gonna record a video on it but been loving naked been loving sin and been loving virgin and that's about it from this one and then from the naked two you guys already know how this looks from the naked two I've been using foxy booty call chopper snake bite busted and of course blackout which yeah I've been using a lot for these but I like using these both together it's just a nice mixture so that's those the next thing I'm gonna pull out is face stuff okay so I have two foundations here the first one is my Mac match master foundation and I'm in the color 9 and this is has an SPF of 15 and it just looks like this I love this because no matter what time of the year it is it will formulate to your skin color because it has the uh, micro things in it and it really forms to your skin like I, I'm like darker a little darker now so I mean, I don't think I look darker, but I get a little darker. I could tell from other foundations that I'm a little darker, but I can wear this all year round and it's last me for like a good almost two years now. Like I'm almost done with it. It doesn't look like it because I've been rolling it around, but I am almost done with this. And then the next one with, cause this is, this one's like around 30 something dollars. So it's a little pricey, um, but it's great coverage. It's, it's like, um, medium to full it's very buildable is you could put it on sheer also but it's really really just a nice like going out kind of foundation and this one is the covergirl nitro lux which i have on right now and i really really love it it looks so natural and this is by covergirl and it's not as expensive so that's good and that's the name this is the bottle and this has an spf of 10 and this is the color 370 so if any of you guys are wondering that's my color for that and okay next also another face product is the max studio fix powder i've been using this to you know set my foundation and it just looks like this well, it just looks like this i really like it i'm in the color nw50 and it's just an awesome setting powder i like the setting powder that matches my skin it's because my skin will oxidize as I think everybody else everybody does that so especially if a, if a um, foundation is a little light for me I can use that and just mixes a great blend okay so the next thing I want to show you guys is lip products and the first one is a lip exfoliant and this is by elf and I've seen this before in stores but I don't know I never wanted to get it because I thought it was kind of weird but I decided to try it out it was only like a dollar and this is called the lip exfoliator and it looks like this it's by l as you can see and it comes in like this lipstick tube and then when you undo it and you screw it up it's an exfoliant and if you guys can see it has like little beads in it hopefully it focuses hold on it has like little beads in it sorry there's like lip product on it that's like kind of nasty but it is like rough enough to exfoliate your lips and i've been really really loving it so that's in my favorites the next thing after i use that i go ahead and use the aquaphora from ursurin it's just a moisturizer for your lips it's really really moisturizing i really love it i have it on under this lip color it's amazing you guys should really try this out if you have dry lips and the last thing is the maybelline new york elixir glasses or lipsticks or whatever and it looks like this it comes in this cute little packaging oh my gosh this packaging isn't so cute and this is in the color rhapsody or 030 and i'm wearing it today on my lips 
I also have a review up on this so you guys should check it out I'll link it down below but I really really like it I have another color in it and it's like a red and this is just amazing and it's super cute and really friendly to travel but I have a whole video on these well two of them um I'll link it down below and the last couple things is eye products and I already told you guys like the eyeshadows I've been using because I was in my naked palette so I'm gonna do my nail polish first because it's the only one and this is in Brandon and this is my julep that which just fell okay sorry so this is my julep and it's in the color Brandon and I'm wearing it on my nails right now I just think it's a lovely dark color for fall actually I wear it all the time but I really like it for fall and I noticed I've been looking at the viewfinder a lot. Sorry, this is like really wide angled for me and I'm trying to get used to it. But I kind of like it, but it's just weird. Anyways, and the last things I want to show you guys is the mascaras I've been loving and an eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick. So one part is black eyeliner. Here, I'll show you guys how it looks. This is how it looks. And one part is eyeliner and another part is like a smoky gray like shadow which I have not used yet but I've been loving the eyeliner it's very creamy and I have it on today I really really like it and then the last couple things are mascaras I always love my great lash lots of lashes mascara by Maybelline it's amazing I have it on today let me show you guys my makeup really quick um it's very natural and I have like this green eyeliner on but this is my makeup uh, uh. I know so attractive mm. But yeah, I really like it. And then I've also been loving the Falsies Big Eyes. This stuff is amazing, especially for lower lashes. I really, really like it. If you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comment bar how you like it. Or if you don't, I'm sorry, but I love it. Yeah. So that is everything in my face. Guys, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about my other favorites. And I have them written down because I didn't have my... Okay, so I had like a whole bunch of other favorites. Okay, for, so for TV show favorites, I've been loving Glee. Glee's back on, and I really like it, even though I'm super sad Finn died. Like, this is the first time I've been really, really sad. Well, not first time, but I actually felt a connection to Glee. So when Finn died, it really did, like, hurt me. I was really upset. But um, it's still a fantastic show. I was worried about the newcomers, but I really am enjoying it. Um, the next one I've been loving is Dancing with the Stars. I can't believe my girl Amber from Glee and Corbin used to have a huge cup crush on Corbin. He, like, is doing so good and she's doing so good and I can't wait to see who wins tonight. Um, also, I've been loving X Factor. X Factor, oof, such a good show. Um, I sing so I really connect to that show and I really, really love it and I enjoy the judges. This year, they are really awesome, and I love Josh Levi, and I also love the, I think she's Filipino on Demi's team. I never remember. I think it's like Eleonora or something. She's really, really good. I really like her. Those are, two, like, two of my favorites right now. And then I've been loving Scandal. Oh, my gosh. And Scandal ends in two weeks. Like, the last episode is December 5th, I believe. It's so good. It's so entertaining. I'm obsessed. I love it. The next things are food. I've been loving this farmer's chip. I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture. This chips are so good. My cousin, Spark Diamonds, she introduced me to it. She had it at her job at Ross, which is weird that they sell food. But it's really good. It's a farmer's market chips. It's salty and sweet. It's like really confusing but it tastes like amazing and I'm obsessed with them and I'm trying to find them now maybe they have them at Whole Foods I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about if you see the picture let me know because I'm trying to find them and I cannot um also I just had Starbucks salted caramel mocha it was so good I had it hot be because um it's starting to get a little chilly in Florida now yeah, it was a little chilly yesterday, and it made me want a warm drink, so I got that, and it was really good. I don't know why I haven't, I think I was scared because it said salted caramel, and I'm not a huge fan of caramel, but I don't know, I guess lately I have been, because I love the caramel crunch when they had it, but yeah, been loving it. And the last thing is the Checkers mozzarella sticks. They have a new, um, Checkers has mozzarella sticks now, and they taste like they're fries, but with cheese in the middle. 
and I, I'm like obsessed. I like it. It tastes really good to me. So that last thing is clothing, which I've been loving leggings. My grandma just bought me a whole bunch of leggings. Not a whole bunch. She bought me like four. Um, a red, a purple, a gray, and a black. And I really want to get some printed leggings because I'm super excited about winter. Because fall's nice, but in Florida, it's not really like a fall. We get three seasons, I feel like. Spring, summer, and winter because I don't see really a fall and leaves changing that much and the last thing i want to show you guys is a clothing piece is my cheer jacket which i'm obsessed with and love um as you guys know i coach cheerleading i think you know but if you don't i did coach cheerleading and the season just finished like a week ago and we have ending ceremony so i cannot wait to see all the girls again but this is our we got jackets for the girls because we got um the coach got sponsors so this is how the jacket looks. It kind of has like stripes on it, which kind of represented cougars, kind of like tiger stripes. We wanted it. It's just black and gold because those are our colors. Here's the thing. And on the wrist, it has who sponsors us, and it's all blinged out, which is really nice. Pediatrics Medical Group. And then on the back, it has this gorgeous lady cougar sign and at the bottom it has my name which i wanted it to say coach sasha but the lady just messed it up and actually we wanted it under the lady cougars but i don't know what happened but hopefully you guys can see sasha yeah there it is but this is so like gorgeous i really love it um i have to ask her again what oh the company is the company is glitter stars creation creation collection and I'll have the link down below because they did an amazing job and they're really known for their crystals and supposedly they're not supposed to fall off. So that was just amazing. So that is the end of my video. But don't forget to subscribe and leave comments down below. I love hearing you guys' thoughts. So let me know what was some of your favorites and what you think I should try out. And oh, if you guys have any recommendations for girls of like my skin tone, if there's any kind of drugstore concealer, because I'm trying to look for a drugstore concealer, and yeah, that would be really, really helpful.